Hi, and welcome back to Still Hopes in Five. It is Monday, February the 15th, and I am Stephanie Parker, Still Hopes Director of Public Relations. Today is a very special day because it is the day that our very first person moves into our new Hopewell apartment building. This has been a long time coming, and we are so excited to start having residents move into that beautiful new space. And as we like to do here at Still Hopes, we like like to have the bishop come and bless new spaces, especially if it's something like an apartment building where someone will be living. So Bishop Waldo from the Episcopal Diocese of Upper South Carolina came on Friday, which was February the 12th, and blessed the new Hopewell apartment building. We thought that it would be nice to record that blessing ceremony since we are still having no in-person gatherings. So we were not able to have an in-person gathering to view that blessing ceremony. So we wanted to record it so that everyone could see it. So without further ado, I'll just show that blessing ceremony right now. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, grant to this home the grace of your presence, that you may be known to the inhabitants of this dwelling and the defender of this household. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, says the Lord. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come into the house and eat with you and you with me. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in. From this, this time, time forth, forth forevermore. forevermore. Let us pray. Sovereign Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Send your servants out from this place on many errands. Be their constant companion in the way and welcome them upon their return so that coming and going, they may be sustained by your presence, O Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord. And you give them their food in due season. Let us pray. O Lord our God, for you give us food and drink to sustain our lives. You supply every need of ours according to your great riches. Bless the hands that work in this place and give us grateful hearts for daily bread. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As the earth puts forth its blossom or bushes in a garden burst into flower, so shall the Lord God make righteousness and praise blossom before all nations. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a good goodly heritage. Above everything, love one another earnestly. For love covers many sins. Let us pray. Jesus, our good companion, on many occasions you withdrew with your friends for quiet and refreshment. Be present with your servants in this place to which they come for fellowship and recreation and make of it, we pray, a place of serenity and peace. In your holy name we ask it. Amen. Many there are who rely upon their hands and are skillful in their own work. Prosper, O Lord, the work of our hands. Prosper our handiwork. Let us pray. O oh God, your blessed Son worked with his hands in the carpenter shop in Nazareth. Be present, we pray, with those who work in this place, that laboring as workers together with you, they may share the joy of your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Health and soundness are better than all gold, and a robust body than countless riches. Remind us, O oh Lord, to care for our bodies. Help us to preserve this holy temple you have given us. Let us pray. 
O God, in the course of this busy life, give us times of refreshment and peace, and grant that we may so use our leisure to rebuild our bodies and renew our minds, that our spirits may be opened to the goodness of your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness, tranquility and trust forever. My people will abide in secure dwellings and in quiet resting places. Unless the Lord builds the house, their labor is in vain who build it. Let us pray. Visit, O blessed Lord, this home with the gladness of your presence. Bless all who live here with the gift of your love and grant that they may manifest your love to each other and to all whose lives they touch. May they grow in grace and in the knowledge and love of you. Guide, comfort, and strengthen them and preserve them in peace, O Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. And now in the words our Savior Christ has taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth forevermore. The blessing, mercy, and grace of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Now, I do want to mention that Blessing Ceremony was edited today for the sake of length, but the full Blessing Ceremony can also be viewed on our YouTube channel. So if you would like to view it in its entirety, that's where you can find it. And that's going to be all for today's episode. I look forward to seeing you all right back here with me next week.